I told you this video was coming, did I not? We are here to talk the new Honor Active Effortless, those brand new colors that just dropped. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Dune Brown and Vintage Purple, well they dropped in those new colors along with their new Lounge and Mellow Soft, which I did review if you missed that video, definitely check it out. But we are here with my updated review of the Honor Active effortless leggings. I've had some gals recently asking me like, what size should I go for? Because I actually don't know. And I know a lot of you gals can relate. This is why I wanted to do this updated review for you. Now I have really exciting news. Since my last video when I was teasing the effortless in the lounge video that I did, Honor Active actually reached out to me and gifted me a medium legging. And I'm so happy that they did that because now I actually have two sizes to share with you. Originally, I just stuck with my true size small and I was gonna review it as is. But the fact that they gave me another size to work with really helps me give a more in-depth, thorough review for you. So a huge thank you to them. They are very sweet. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I know you guys will appreciate it too. All right guys, so I'm wearing the Dune Brown, the every, little gremlin. So if you are brand new to the Honor Active Effortless leggings, let's do a very brief overview to see what we're looking at. Vintage purple, which is a very muted purple, almost some gray tones in there somewhere. And then we have my favorite, the Dune Brown. It is such a gorgeous nude color. I feel like this could work for many skin tones, I do. It's that perfect shade, I love it. Let's start with the eye test starting with the waistband. All right, so we still have a lot of raised seam movements. Right in the front here, it's a very boxy ribbed waistband, AKA it does not taper inward. I actually tend to gravitate more towards boxier bands so that it doesn't cinch in so much in the midsection. The backing is really where it's at, highlighting the glutes. You have that raised seam contour swooping right around, adding that movement. You still have the really subtle scrunch bump. It's not as intense as some brands I've seen. My favorite part of the legging visually is definitely the swoops that go to the sides of the glutes. I really think that adds a nice, a nice pucker. Nothing wrong with a nice booty border, am I right? Luckily, they offer different lengths to their leggings. This is the short slash regular length, and then they have a taller length. So I'm 5'3", I always opt to grab the shorter option. If you look closely, you can see a little bit of marl. So even though this is a relatively solid legging, you will always have a slight marl. Same thing with the vintage purple. It's a barely there heathered look. It's not noticeable. You're never gonna notice it unless you look up close. In terms of branding, I could be wrong. Back in the day, I'm pretty sure it was on the hip. There's no branding on the hip. There's none on the back of the band either. As you can see, they kept the branding, however, right at the lower part of the leg. Now, what I love is that it is not printed. It is in fact sewn within the seamless legging itself, therefore giving a better quality overall. It isn't going anywhere. It's not gonna peel off in the dryer. So that's what's up. You shouldn't be putting it in the dryer anyway, just so you know. Don't put your activewear in dryers. If you can, just lay it out flat to dry. Your future self will thank you. Whereas this ribbing is super thick, you can feel the compression, the rest of the legging, still very, very stretchy. So I'm excited. I really am excited to try on these different sizes. First, let's go ahead and try on both of these sizes. I have a small and a medium in the Dune Brown. I don't have both sizes in this vintage purple, but we'll try that on later and see how it goes. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes different colors fit differently. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Okay, we are starting with the small and already, oh my God, this is just too small. What the heck? Waistband's very tight, so it's hard to get up around my waist. Okay. <laughs> the band right around my hips. It's hard to get up. Oh my goodness. Ooh, do not judge me. Okay, all right, we're there. I know this is a body fit. This is a high-waisted seamless legging. I get that. There's some decent compression I'm feeling, but it also feels a little snug, especially on the glutes. It's easy to confuse compression with just being too tight. So I'm trying to differentiate the two. It's definitely snug. I'm feeling moderate to high compression, mostly around the legs and the glutes. Not so much the waistband, believe it or not. It feels stiff, like there's really not a lot of slack here, but it doesn't feel like it's pressing in and creating a bulge. It's not cinching me in too much. It's very comfortable. This is where the benefit of a squared waistband comes in because it's not tapered like Alphalete's where it's super small right up here and just So even though it's nice and snug, it's not crushing my organs. Now let's see. Okay, there's not a ton of stretch this way. So you know how I stretched it out before? The fact that it was so stretchy there and not here, 
makes it not feel like a four-way stretch and therefore I feel like my movement might be a little restricted. Okay, it's not the most comfortable is what I'm saying. When I'm moving around, it just feels like it's a size too small. Now again, this is where the difference between compression and just a too small of a size comes into play. Let's not confuse the two because you can have a nice, highly compressive legging, but you don't lose your range of motion. There's a four-way stretch still. I'm feeling some limitations here in this size. I already off the bat think that the medium is gonna be a lot better. I'm hoping that it doesn't slack in other areas if I size up. Now I'm in front of a window. Let's see, I'm wearing a black thong. It's doing okay. I'm going to wear a black brief and try these out for you. Other than that, absolutely gorgeous on the tush. Effortless is just good like that. I think we all know that. I think that that's like a guarantee. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take this legging for a ride. We are gonna test it out on the treadmill. This is where I like to test for cellulite in natural daylight. I also like to test for slippage, compression, overall support. Basically a simple walk, how it feels if you were to wear it as an everyday legging. I look naked. From far away, if you squint your eyes, I think it looks like I'm naked, right? Okay. First things first, not very cellulite friendly. At least that's what Bay is saying right now. So you can see it on my glutes, back of my legs. I mean, this is the kind of fit where it's fairly thin material, so I'm not surprised. So if cellulite is something you take into consideration when buying a legging, just keep that in mind. I'm not feeling it move or budge. But like I said, right here, it just feels too tight. It feels almost as if someone's is like tugging, but it's not moving. It just feels like there's a tugging. And I just think my glutes aren't fitting into this very well. So I think a medium is gonna be where it's at for me. I can't wait to put these mediums on because I wanna love this legging. This size just isn't making me feel all that great. Even taking the legging off, this band, it's pretty, uh, that's a lot. It's a lot right now, yep. Okay, that was like trying to get out of a straight jacket. So we're trying on a medium. Wow, okay, now I'm feeling more like myself here. My glutes are definitely breathing better. Here's what I'm feeling. So much better here. So much better around the legs. My biggest concern when sizing up is that the waistband would be a little too loose and there may be excessive wrinkling right around the groin. I do feel like there's a little extra material, just a little bit. This is not the type of material that I'm able to shimmy around and smooth out. I do feel like, see, it's gonna start bunching at the ends here a little bit. As you can see at the waistband, it still fits nice and snug but it's definitely not as compressive. There's a little bit of room here. I'm still feeling a nice amount of support around the thighs, but it's not squishing my glutes. That's where I feel like there's some let up, thank goodness. Not feeling that tug downward. Everything back here feels better. Around the waist feels a little bit better too. Not as compressive. I feel like there's a little bit more stretch this time. You can see that, oh, right? Yeah, totally. Okay. Feels so much better in these, so much better. Okay, so sizing up didn't necessarily change the cellulite concealment, that's about the same. But I feel like I can move a little bit better and I don't feel that tugging like I did before. What I'm testing now is since I sized up, is it going to slowly slip as I walk? Okay, now there's not as much support around the waistband. Is that gonna be an issue? How well is the scrunch gonna maintain its shape? Is it gonna start dipping, sagging, and things like that? Feels good to me. Not feeling any dipping or slipping, scrunch stayed in place. I do, however, want to test out squatting because I think that's going to be a better indicator of whether it's going to slip or not. Let me just do some, uh, some sumos here. See how we hold up. Are we dipping in the band? Yeah, a little gape. Okay. Right. No, it's not moving. I'm not feeling these leggings shift at all. <sighs> Great. Still looks flat mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Didn't budge. Ooh, if anything, it looks better because now the material worked its way in between the cheeks a little bit. Let's do a step up. I want to see how it works, how well it stays put when my one leg's elevated. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, this is stupid. This thing is in my face. It, there's, it's, there's bars. Lift it up, lift it up, and let, 
Oh. Fuck. Three, two, and one. Oh. Oh. Oh, mama, this hurts. Oh, shnikes. Ow. My booty cheek hurt. Felt great. Leggings held up nicely. Damn, these are flattering leggings. Truth be told, I haven't hip thrusted in a while because my low back has been giving me issues. This is definitely upping my confidence a bit, so thank you for that. <laughs> can we see the sweat? I'm assuming you can in this light of a color. Okay, that I'm dripping sweat there. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, wow, mama. Okay, mama. Okay, so you can obviously see sweat here. Let me feel what it feels. I'm gonna give it a second and then see how my skin feels. See if it actually wicks sweat. I definitely expected it to show through. Thin material, light color, but two and two together, you know what I'm saying? Oh wow, holy crap. No, I'm very dry. That's what she said. I'm super dry underneath, so this definitely is a breathable legging. Great for wicking sweat, taking off the skin and getting it out of here. But of course you will see it. <laughs> I am wearing a black seamless thong. Here we go. Good, right? The true test is gonna be whether or not you can see black briefs. Yes, I do have to change behind this thing, okay? People try to come in the studio and they think it's a public place and they see me in my underwear. Ain't nobody want that. To me, it's the hottest balls in here. <laughs> the amount of times I said it's hot as balls today. Oh, Work it up here. It is too <laughs> hot in here, dude. I can't work like this. Okay, are we ready to test out these black briefs or what? The reason I do the black briefs is just in case, my gals, you might have some tattoos that show. This will help you get a better idea things like that, or if you just wear a naturally black underwear. Shows a range. Can you see it? Yeah. You can. So there is a gape in the back of the band here, and it does bother me a little bit, but as long as it's not slipping, and as long as the legging itself stays in place, especially the scrunch, I think we're okay. But yeah, that gape. Like, you don't see it when standing, but then you see it when I actually squat. Now that is a consequence of sizing up, and that's just how it's gotta be, because I can't go with my true size small. Not in these. So I think it's safe to say from here on out, when it comes to the effortless leggings, I am sizing up. Unless they do something drastic and go back to the OG material, it's going to be a medium for me and effortless. Okay, same deal in the vintage purple. Like my small just is not a thing anymore with Honor Active Effortless. This isn't working and I can't wait to get it off my body. I need to size up to a medium in the vintage purple too. To be honest with you, even in a small, I'm still seeing a little baby gape anyway. So I hope this bit helped you guys out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mediums back on and then we're gonna briefly talk about this sports bra. Good God. Here, I'm gonna pack it back. So if you guys are wondering about the sports bra, this is the everyday crisscross sports bra. The backing is really cute. Only issue is that these straps twist like a mug. Look at this, they twist all over the place. You gotta get yourself a bay that's gonna untwist it for you. Other than that, like they'll even twist up front here a bit, overlap one another and do that dirty thing. Might be a little too high maintenance for me with the straps, cause I'm always gonna be conscious of it and try to untwist it and move it around. The fact that it has a, a mind of its own and just wants to move everywhere, I don't know if it's quite for me. You do have a very tiny, thin elastic band here. That adds some extra support, removable bra pads. It's non-adjustable. My size small works, but if I'm in between, I might size up because I don't know about this. If this was any tighter, it would just sandwich me in a little too much right here. So in between size up, but I think you can get away with your true size. It is very smooth. It feels like the Mellow Soft right here. It's very, very silky smooth. It's a relatively simple bra, which is why they probably called it the everyday bra. I wouldn't want to wear it to every day though, because the band underneath, that's why I'm sensitive to things like this. I would give this a low, moderate support at best. 
So yeah, guys, that is my updated opinion on the Honor Active Effortless Legging. As long as you size up in this latest round, I personally think you'll be okay. But comment down below, how did you do this launch? Did you end up sizing up? Did you end up getting your true size and then returning it? Or are you somebody who's just happy with your normal size? Let's talk about it. I hope you guys found this video helpful and thank you so much to Honor Active for sending me some additional pieces to work with. I really appreciate it. It's officially that time of the week. We are fresh out of groceries. Like my fridge is completely empty. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's the day of the week that I dread the most. I hate going grocery shopping. I feel like I do it so often, but- um, It just gets more and more expensive every time we go. It does. And I'm actually shocked at how much we spend on just two of us. Like what the- you would think we're feeding a family of five. Let's go to the grocery store real quick. It's gonna be so cold. It's 27 degrees outside today. <sighs> Woo! We live not even a five minute walk from ShopRite, a really big grocery store. When we go out of town to go grocery shopping, because it's too busy at ShopRite, I get anxiety in the parking lot. It's too busy, in and out, weaving people, traffic. I don't, I don't do, I'm gonna travel the 15 minutes to go to another store. <laughs> Shout out to Weiss. If you're from like New Jersey or PA, you'll know all about Weiss. We like going there because no matter when you go, what time of day, no matter what day out of the week, it is always completely and totally ghost town. And it's like pleasant. You and know? now we jinxed it. I know, right? With the snowstorm and all. Are we matching on purpose? Okay, we just got here, but first we need to quickly have a little bay appreciation moment because oh, man. <laughs> look at that mustache and beard. Yeah, I'm due for a shave. Sorry guys, yeah, I'm looking not. a little scraggly. I didn't know we were gonna be filming today. Please don't, don't ever. Guys, forgive me, okay? I'm gonna try to show up on camera a lot more like we did back in the olden days. You Ooh. know, when we first started YouTube, I was even in some thumbnails. Oh jeez. It's literally gonna snow tomorrow, so I am stocking up like you have never seen before because snow days equal Netflix and chill. So what is in it? New Jersey, there's this new law where they don't give out plastic bags anymore. Yeah. Which I'm actually on board with. Yeah. So we have to bring our own, which is cool. Yeah. These Amazon bags are a lifesaver. Hello, mommy. Yeah, I love Weiss. <laughs> yeah. Weiss is, there's nothing going for Weiss, and that's why I love it. It's a freaking deserted ghost town in here all the time. It's so mellow. Mm -hmm. They're hard as rocks. What is this? Dried roses? That's pretty cool. They don't even smell good. Whoa. I was debating on getting some salad, but then I remembered that I never actually eat it because I don't like homemade salads. I like salads at restaurants only. Wow. Pizza night. If we're ever on a game show and one of the questions is what are some of my favorite pastas is this brand right here this is in the organic section amazing when it comes to baked goods and when i have a little sweet tooth i swear by this brand i use their brownie mix chocolate muffins banana breads i mean everything even their protein pancakes oh, oh my god simple meals is just the best i literally have a full whole cabinet stocked with them so i'm good this time around and there's more options on amazon too that are Really good. <sighs> America runs on Duncan. We drink a lot of oat milk. Damn, girl. He's an almond flour and coconut oil. I told myself I wasn't gonna get any more bobo bars, but I'm a dirty liar. Ooh, get the peanut butter and jelly. Uh, uh, okay. I mean the strawberry, actually. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yeah.
We yeah, we yeah, we yeah. It's a good pre-workout, little mm. bite-sized nibble. These are spicy as fuck. I'm not gonna be able to eat them. Oh, really? <laughs> the one downfall to bringing your own bag is that you just simply never bring enough, okay? There's always overflow. Whose fault is that? Clearly ours. That's why you keep extras on deck, mama. We got extras, it's all good. <laughs> So now you guys can get a glimpse of what we pretty much eat in a week. We're just kind of eating a little more intuitively and more relaxed this year. I mean, for the longest time, I was so ultra strict on my diet to the point mm. that it just started making me very depressed. And uh, now I'm just eating a more balanced, intuitive, more of a variety. We go through really long phases of like really clean eating where it's like chicken, broccoli. Rigid. Very oh rigid. my God. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're looking to make a goal weight or if you're prepping or doing any sort of, you know, sport. But to live like that nonstop, 24-7, it really wasn't sustainable. It really wasn't. You would think that it's like, oh, where's the veggies? They're all at home because we really don't eat them. They're all frozen. They are. <laughs> it's true. I have so many bags of frozen vegetables. The truth is, is I rarely buy fresh veggies uh, because if I know they're in the fridge just chilling their way to be eaten, I won't eat it. Mm -hmm. It's just how my brain works so I say you know what let me just avoid buying it altogether. then I get the frozen stuff just in case I get that little little spark in me that says you know what I could go for some vegetables today intuitive huh yeah. see there it is yeah you don't force it because then you resent it so yeah that is our approach to fitness and diet as well intuitive mm. eating enjoying life yeah. finding healthier alternatives to things eating more whole foods that was our weekly grocery haul right here we're gonna make this stretch for the next seven days <laughs> you're gonna make it stretch <laughs> we're gonna try to make it stretch because if you live with me you know that won't last three days you think this is funny i smell dog on me i smell like a wet <laughs> dog right now i don't even have a dog <laughs>